just can't keep up. Road crews and tow truck drivers getting much more than they can handle thanks to one of the worst pothole seasons in memory. Good to have you with us tonight for Local 4 News at 11. Now that we're finally getting a break from the rain, emergency pothole patching begins on some of Metro Detroit's busiest freeways. Lane closures on I-696 from I-75 to Woodward are going to run from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Also, look for closures on southbound I-75 from Adams to Crooks from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And southbound US-24 from Hickory Grove and Long Lake. Those lane closures will go from 8 a.m. to 6.30. It's really a rare occasion when the patching crews might actually be a welcome sign. <laughs> Jason Colthorpe checked in with tow truck drivers tonight. Jason, how's it going? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, a little segment called prepare to have your mind blown to borrow a line from Bernie. But would it shock you to know that at peak times earlier today, people were waiting three to four hours for a tow truck driver when they called people calling AAA. Some had to wait eight to nine hours to get that service just to show you how busy it was. And when you look at you know, areas like this that are everywhere in Metro Detroit right now, it shouldn't come as any surprise. Yeah, I can have a truck over there probably about uh, 45 minutes an hour right now. Just an hour. Clearly one of the lucky customers who called Vans Towing today. Robert Fuller has been towing for 17 years and says it is bad out there right now. In fact, he saw the biggest pothole he's ever seen today on 14 Mile. We had I actually had a driver pop a tire in one of our tow trucks the other day because of the potholes. I mean, if they're deep enough to pop a tire on a tow truck, you know, it's, there's some pretty decent holes out there. So decent, it's not just pop tires and broken wheels he's seeing right now. Some vehicles are actually sensing collisions. The fuel cut shut off or they can't even drive their vehicle. It shuts the car right off because it thinks they got into an accident. The pothole is so hard. Just traveling home from work and Boom. <laughs> Brandon Taylor had to call for a tow when he hit a pothole on 14 and Hayes. I haven't seen anything like this. I was all over the road, like just hitting the car, you know, and it, it was crazy. Crazy and dangerous, especially for these tow truck drivers who are handling twice as many calls as they normally do. And they're asking other drivers out there to slow down and get over whenever they see them. You know, I have three kids sent home. All of us have kids. You know, all of us want to go home to our families, you know. Try to give us space, you know. Yeah, it's a good message people are forgetting. A lot of danger out there. And the other real dangerous thing is a stretch like this. I mean, we remember the video we saw the other night, last night, in the night cam, where people were blowing out tires on a stretch like this. Well, we've been here, and you'll, you might hear it as cars go by. People are swerving at the last minute. They're slamming on their brakes to get out of the way of this. And you're, you're about to see another car go over it right here. And just listen to the sound of this. As they hit that, people hitting it fast and just being in this area, this was here when we pulled up. It's like a rim graveyard in areas like this. And like we say, they're all over Metro Detroit. Guys, back to you. Yep, broken hubcap there. Okay, Jason, we appreciate it. And one of the worst roads in Macomb County is about to get some major repairs. The county announced today a $10 million project to rehab a four mile stretch of Mound Road. 80% of the project is being paid for by the federal government. Crews will resurface both sides of Mound Road between 14 and 18 mile. The work will begin as soon as possible.